Number seven is a problem where a proton is going out along the positive x-axis at a speed of 2 times 10 to the seventh meters per second, and the proton currently is one centimeter away from the origin along the x-axis, so this proton is zipping along that way, but in the instant of the problem, they want to know some information when the proton is exactly one centimeter from the origin there. There's an observation point up here, one centimeter above the y along the y-axis right here, where you'd like to know what the magnetic field is. So the magnetic field at this point is what you'd like to know. So B is equal to question mark right there at that point because of this proton zipping along the x-axis like that. It's a straightforward application of the point form of the Biot Savart law here, namely that B is mu naught over 4 pi. That's the constant out in front. Then you have a QB times the sine of theta over R squared in there. Those are the other two components of the force law. That should be a squared, R squared right there. Okay, so that's the force law. Um, mu naught over 4 pi, pretty straightforward. You just get it out of the front cover of your book here. Q is going to be the charge on a proton right here. This is going to be the 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 positive because it's a proton. V will be the speed. You have that number in there. And R is going to be the distance now between the proton and the observation point at this point of interest right here. So it's an R squared right here. So then the R squared is going to be something like uh, 1 times 10 to the minus 2 squared plus 1 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. Again, that's the Pythagorean theorem can't quite see the whole thing, but I've just sort of written a Pythagorean theorem here. R is 1 times 10 to the minus 2 squared plus 1 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. That is this distance right here. That's this distance right here. The distance between the proton and the point at that instant. Probably the only tricky point about this problem is getting the angle figured out, but you have to remember this angle here is the angle between the velocity and the vector that denotes the position of observation relative to the proton. So it's very tempting to say, oh, it's probably this angle in here, which would be 45 degrees on account of this being a one center, I mean, and this being one center, but it is not. The angle that you're interested in is actually this one right here. That's probably going to be too light to see that yellow right there. It's going to be this angle right here, which in this case here is 135 degrees, because that's the angle between the V going out this way and the observation point this way, 135 degrees in there. So if you take that 135 and put it in for that angle, That'll lead you to the answer to number 7 there. And for this one here, I got something like 1.13 times 10 to the minus 15 Tesla. So what this tells me here about this, that if you have a proton going on the x-axis at 2 times 10 to the 7th meter per second, you're standing at this point here and want to know what magnetic field is created due to this proton, you will get 1.13 times 10 to the minus 15 Tesla for that field. So again, it's a problem that illustrates that it's moving charges are what create magnetic fields. And this is an example of that.